Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network lab review. We're doing lab 8134, propagating a default route uh, using EIGRP for both IPv4 and IPv6. So again, I already have this off screen. I'm just gonna scroll down so I can get to the parts. So verify EIGRP configuration on each of the uh, routers. So you know what, let's just do a simple Can we ping an outside host, 64.100.1.10? No. So we actually can't leave our network just yet. So that was a bad example. How do we uh, verify it? We can go to each of the routers and we can check to see if the IGRP is turned on, so let's go ahead and do that. Enable show run. And there we go. Class it the IGRP. We have one network. So we can do that on all of our branch routers. Show run. Or you know what, how about we do show IP protocols? Oh, there we go, EIGRP is enabled. Show IP protocols. Again, EIGRP is enabled. So I can safely assume that we have satisfied that. Now configure a directly connective IPv4 route on the IPv4 edge. All right, so remember back in scaling, uh, we're in scaling. Remember back to routing and switching essentials when you were dealing with default routes. We had to configure it at the configuration. We had to do IP route. What are we matching with what subnet and where are we sending it? We're sending it all out serial one slash zero. Basically, if we receive anything, send it out serial zero. That is that guy right there. So how do we propagate this with DHCP, sorry, how do we propagate this with EIGRP? On the edge router, let's go ahead and go to our router EIGRP instance, AS number one. We actually want to look at a question mark. So what are some of our options? Summarization, auto summarization, distance, EIGRP, metrics, neighbors, networks, what about this redistrib uh, redistribution? Redistribute information from another routing protocol. Well, IP route is a static route, so that's kind of like a routing protocol. So redistribute, question mark. Here we can redistribute what? We're gonna redistribute a static route. And that's all we really had to do. Hop over to branch one. Show IP route, and you'll now see that we have a DX external route being advertised through this guy and to send it out our serial 00 interface to basically our IPv edge. So R1 has, or branch one has it. What about branch two? Show IP route, it also has it. So we've done step four. So now we've propagated it using IPv4. Now let's look how we do that via IPv6. All right, this, uh, display the routing cables for each of the IPv6 routers. So let's go to branch three. Enable, show IPv6 route and you'll see the appropriate ones for the IGRP, that's gonna be for D. 
Same thing for branch four. Enable show IPv6 route. And again, we look at D's and that's gonna be our EIGRP. So we've completed step one. So how do we configure a default route on an IPv6 edge? Let's get to our edge. Let's get to our global configuration mode. Config T, IPv6 route, just like we would with IPv4, except this time it's a double colon because it's all zeros with a zero subnet. And again, we're sending out serial zero one zero. Same thing like before, we set our static route. Now we have to verify it's actually gonna redistribute. So that we're gonna do IPv6. Router EIGRP, we're doing AS number one. We are doing a redistribute static, just like we did with IPv4. And we're gonna give it a second hop on branch four. Show IPv6 route. It did not like that whatsoever. Oh, that's because I clicked on the switch, not the uh, router. And again, there we go, it's a link local address, received via null zero, and it's saying send everything that way. Our th branch three, we're gonna do the same thing. Oops, sorry, I'm looking for this guy right here, our external route. I was looking at that one automatically, but uh, that's an FF00 and it's a link local. We actually want the external link with the appropriate metric. That's gonna be a dead giveaway. It's an external uh, EIGRP link. Let's double check our branch four again. There we go. I was automatically seeing the double zeros, so I assumed. That's my bad, but here is the external link. And actually that's the end of this lab. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.